let me talk about when that United States aircraft, it was a transport plane, set down in the North Korean capital. Uh, what, what went through your mind? Were you apprehensive? Did you know what to expect? I won't ask you if you were scared, but uh, you must have been at least a little bit apprehensive about what was going to happen Well, next. yes, I was uh, quite apprehensive because we weren't sure how this was going to play out. <clears throat> I personally was not completely confident that we would actually, that they would actually release our two citizens. And so, uh, yes, it was uh, apprehensive. Um, and from a personal standpoint, uh, it's kind of always been on my professional bucket list to, you know, to, to visit North Korea, and so I, I did get to do that. Now, as it turned out, we landed <coughs> uh, at night. It was uh, uh, seven o'clock local time, and so it was quite dark. Uh, couldn't couldn't see much, but nevertheless, uh, yes, I, I was I was apprehensive about it. There's no guarantee that we were going to have success. Do you have any uh, advice to people who want to go to North Korea? Well, I think people should understand, and the State Department's put out advisories to this effect, that the North Korean uh, legal system and uh, judicial system is quite different than ours. And things that we might think are quite innocent in their minds are crimes. And if they apprehend people committing what they consider crimes, they will deal with it accordingly, as they did in, in this case. So my advice to be to anyone, any American considering travel in North Korea is I'd think twice about it.